Welcome to Policy on Demand's Week in Review. I'm Dave Camp. What would you tell clients are your takeaways from this week? I had several key takeaways this week. Despite President Biden declaring he was staying in the race for President of the United States, the issue seems far from settled within the Democratic Party. We're also seeing the focus continue to shift for policymakers as they prepare for the coming tax debate in 2025. The House Ways and Means Democrats had a briefing from the Chief of Staff, the Joint Committee on Taxation, as they prepare for the tax debate in 2025 as well. And the Ways and Means Committee passed on a party line vote several bills this week. The first, establishing penalties on universities for violating a student's civil rights. The second, changing the definition of students receiving financial aid for the purposes of the excise tax to exclude students on temporary student visas. Third, a bill to allow 529 accounts to cover additional expenses for K through 12 education, as well as technical training and legislation to overturn a treasury regulation on EV credits that gave automakers two years to source materials from batteries. Also, the Republican National Committee passed its platform, which included making the TCGA permanent, as well as no tax on tips and an emphasis on tariffs. Which question related to policy did you get asked the most and how did you respond? Most questions this week I received on policy were really indirectly related to policy, but really concerned whether the president would continue as a Democratic nominee. And if he was not, what was the path forward for Democrats? The questions were focused not only how President Biden's decision might affect the race, but also the balance of power in the House and Senate and what that might mean as we look ahead to major tax legislation in 2025. Where should companies focus their attention in the coming week? Companies should continue to focus their attention, especially as policymakers continue to pivot on tax policy to 2025 to make the case with specifics and real world examples on the benefits of the TCJA and how that legislation continues to benefit their workers, their families, and the communities in which they operate.